110 years in prison. That's the sentence for a semi-truck driver who crashed into traffic that was backed up on I-70, ultimately killing four people. We've been covering this case for you since the moment news of the crash first broke. That was in April of 2019, and we were there in the courtroom today as family and friends of those involved testified about the impact on their lives. CBS 4's Karen Morford covering Colorado First for us tonight in Jefferson County. Karen, this was an emotional day, of course, for everybody. Yeah, really, Karen, the emotion, the pain is there on both sides. That was evident from the stories that were shared from families who lost loved ones, as well as from the defendant himself as he testified or shared his impact as well to the judge. The judge saying to him that he's not angry with him, but that this is the sentence required by law. Four people died when an out-of-control semi crashed into stopped traffic on I-70. As a judge prepared to sentence the man responsible, family of those who were killed spoke out about their loss. Sometimes it feels like being half a person. The pain. La vida de mi madre ha My mother's life has been turned upside down. And their anger. He was taken away from me in an instant by the actions of a selfish person. Roel Aguilera Medeiros didn't take a runaway ramp after losing the brakes on his truck, a decision that led a jury to convict him of more than 20 counts. It's hard. I asked to God too many times, why and then? And not me. While family members called for some prison time, they also spoke of forgiveness. I know they did not intend for this to happen, but because of their actions, it did happen. The judge says he acknowledges that Aguilera Medeiros didn't intend to harm anyone, but under guidelines set by the law, his sentence could be no less than 110 years. If I had the discretion, it would not be my sentence. An emotional day in court again. Attorneys for the defendant argue that there is case law that would apply in this case specifically that would allow for a minimum of 20 years. The judge says that this just might be one of those cases that they have to review. In Jefferson County, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Yeah, it truly just breaks your heart, Karen, to hear so much pain there today. Thank you.